Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop elements and being able to create a realistic reflection in sunglasses. Now I've done this tutorial for Photoshop but not Photoshop elements. I'm also using an updated version of Photoshop elements 8. Now I must give credit first to Arturo Donate. I got this off of Flickr in the Creative Commons so I'm using his photo here. And the one down here is from Para Flyer. So if you're on Flickr, go check out their photos. Now, let's take a look at my layers palette. You can see here that I have some what looks like sunglasses, and then I have an image, and I've superimposed that image on these little black sunglasses here. Let's see what the picture looks like before I started working on it. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key down, and I'm going to click on the eyeball tool right there. And that's going to show you the original picture with the original reflection here. And then I'm going to put back what I did, and then that's the new reflection. And that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is go back to the original photo again by holding down the Alt key and clicking on the eyeballs. That is the original photo of this. Now how I did this was I created a new layer. That creates a transparent layer on top of this layer. So if I click this little thing that I call the dog ear, it creates a new uh, transparent layer on top of that. And that's what we're going to use to paint with. Now normally in Photoshop you use masking and things like that, but a little bit more difficult in Photoshop Elements to do that. There's quite a number of steps. So I'm going to paint using the standard default foreground and background colors which are black and white. If you don't have them already you can click on this little icon right there. I'm going to use the black and I'm going to use it and paint where the reflection is that I want to replace. So go over and grab your brush or your pencil. Now the reason I use a pencil is because it has a little bit more of a hard edge than the brush. Now you can make the brush a hard edge, but right off the bat I'm just going to use a pencil. Now you can see right here that is the size of your pencil and I'm going to paint right in here. Now the one thing I want to point out is right at the edge, right in here, you can see there's a little white line and where that is is that is the bevel from the glass and the sunglasses. In order to make this look realistic, we need to include that white edge or that white bevel on the glasses. Otherwise, this isn't going to look realistic. So when I paint, I want to make sure that I do not cover the white area there. You can see that I'm doing my best to avoid that. And then you would go in and you're just going to paint right in here. Now, I've already got this done, kind of like a cooking show. And I'm going to show you how to do this. There we go. So I've pretty much painted this a real lousy job in painting because I've already taken the time to do it for you beforehand. Now, as you're doing this, if you make some sort of mistake, you can go over, and that's the reason I like this, you can use the eraser tool and you can erase the edges here. And you can carefully go in here. If you have a uh, a tablet or a pad that you can use it works out real well too. So that's something that you would take the time to really go in there and create a realistic looking uh, blackout of the sunglasses. Well I'm gonna, just going to use the one that I already have here and I'm going to delete this layer because I did take the time to do a good job and I painted in here and you can see that I made sure that I included that white area right along the edge of the glasses. Okay. Now, after that, now that these are blacked out and we can't see the image anymore of what was originally in the sunglasses, we're going to do a Control J. And the Control J is going to make a duplicate layer on the Mac. It's a Command J. It's going to make a duplicate layer of your sunglasses that you've blacked out. Now once again, I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. The last thing that we need to do here is we need to drag this picture on top of the sunglasses because we're going to superimpose that picture on top of the black part, and it's very easy to do. 
and drag this on top here and let go. Now you can see right here that the picture is horizontal and his face is tilted a little. So I am going to have to go here. You can see my show bounding box is unchecked. So I'm going to check that and click the move tool. This is the move tool. It's going to allow me to twist and turn that picture on top of his face right there. When I'm happy with it, I hit the return key and there we go. This is kind of what the sunglasses are going to look like. Now, what we do is we hold the control key down or the command on the Mac and we click on the glass area right here that we painted black. And you can see immediately that those areas show up. Now, if we wanted to superimpose that right away, you could hold the Alt or Option key down, go into the middle of this, and do that. Now, the only problem with that is that isn't real realistic looking. I mean, it's great, it looks like a picture, everything is fine, but the problem is is that most sunglasses aren't flat. They're actually bowed a little. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to spherize this. That is a filter that we use when we want to give things a bulge or some sort of a, a roundness to it. So if you go to filter and you go down to distort, and you go to Spherize right here, Spherize, you can see right here that there's kind of a bulge that it gives and you can kind of start seeing the outline of what that bulge is going to look like. Now I left mine at about 49, you can put yours at 50 or so, and you can see that it kind of gives it that round look to this. So there we have now the round look. Now let's go ahead and go to Command D. All right. Once again, that doesn't look very realistic either because now we have the, this pair of sunglasses right here, but it doesn't have any kind of reflections. You can see on the side of his sunglasses right in here that the sun is very harsh right here. It's taken in the afternoon of the day, so it's really harsh right here. So we need to have something right there that kind of gives it a look like there's a real harsh sun outside and it's reflecting on these sunglasses. Once again, we do that with a filter, click on filter, and then we go down to render. And this time we're going to use one that's called lens flare. Now you kind of get a look at this where we want to put this. There is the rock, which is right in here. We want to go up and to the right a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use this particular one right here. And then I'm going to move it just a little bit. There we go. I'm moving this. Okay. You can use the one that's 105 prime or you can use the one that's 50-300 zoom. It doesn't matter. This one kind of gives it more of a sun look. This one kind of gives it more of a reflection look. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put that up right in here. And then when I'm happy with what it looks like, I'm going to select OK. Now you can see that it kind of gives this like the sun is hitting the sunglasses, but it's also hitting the lens right here, and it kind of gives it that realistic look. So going back through the steps that we took, I'm going to hold my Alt key down and go back to the original photo again here. This is the original photo with the real reflection of the sunglasses. We went in and we used a pencil tool and we blacked out this reflection on the sunglasses on a new transparent layer, which was this one. Then we made a duplicate of it right in here. Then we took a picture that we wanted to have the reflection and drug it on top of the glasses. We held down the Alt or Option key in between the layer and we superimposed this image on top of the blackness here. And last but not least, we added the reflection right here which was under the filter under render lens flare. Now there's one last thing that you can do with this if you want to make it a little bit realistic, more realistic looking. This might be just a little bit too bright. This may not look like a real uh, reflection here. So you can always take this and you can bring it down in opacity just a little bit. Uh, maybe 90 or even in the 80s. 
And so that kind of gives it this realistic reflection. There. So there you have it, putting realistic reflections in sunglasses. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and cheers.